Jacksonville police ask you to take a good look at this minivan. They say the driver brutally beat a person, tied the victim to the van, and dragged the victim for two blocks. Neighbors tell News 4 Jax the victim is a transgender woman. Police have not yet confirmed that. Sky 4 flew over the two blocks where this horrible crime was committed in Moncrief. It started at the Majestic Plaza Apartments on West 36th Street and Moncrief Road. The person was dragged to Pierce Street and then left badly injured. News 4 Jax reporter Kelly Wiley has been following the investigation all day and is joining us live outside the apartments. Kelly, is the victim hospitalized? Yeah, the person is hospitalized right now, working with life-threatening injuries. Now, police have taped off this part of Majestic Plaza Apartments. Come with me this way. Surveillance cameras captured a suspect tying the victim to a minivan here in front of those apartments and then dragging them more than two blocks down the road. Multiple sources, including the maintenance man at Majestic, Pla Majestic Plaza Apartments, say the victim is a transgender woman. Pictures show the van police say dragged someone for two blocks. Investigators say the victim was brutally beaten and tied to the bumper of this minivan. Most of the attack captured on camera. The victim had been severely beaten and uh, was drugged from a suspect's minivan by his legs. Video is so graphic we cannot, we can't release it. It's, it's horrendous. Police say the victim was tied to the minivan in front of Majestic Plaza Apartments, then dragged two blocks down the street where the rope was cut and the victim was left unconscious. Detectives have blocked off a section of Majestic Plaza Apartments. The apartment's maintenance man says the attack started inside one of the units. Investigators say they don't know if the victim identifies as transgender. It's a male. I don't know how this person identifies. Do you and have an... Sorry. And obviously we want to be respectful of how this person identifies himself. Investigators say the victim is still in the hospital with life-threatening injuries. And take another look at the pictures that they showed us. Again, they didn't want to show us the entire video because it was too graphic, but they did want to show these pictures of the van. You can go to newsforjax.com, and there we've detailed how you can get in contact with investigators if you have a tip. Kelly, we know this brutal crime was recorded on camera through one of Jacksonville's high-tech crime-fighting tools. Yeah, the real-time crime center, they were able to capture these images of part of what happened. The headquarters are near downtown Jacksonville, and that's where they monitor all these cameras. They're hoping this footage helps them find the suspect quicker. Reporting live in Moncrief, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.